the IX. Meaning also Ajax, is a Russian hypersonic waverider aircraft program, started in the Soviet Union, and currently under development by the Hypersonic Systems Research Institute of Leninitz Holding Company in St. Petersburg, Russia. IAX was initially a classified Soviet spaceplane project, aimed to design a new kind of global-range hypersonic cruise vehicle, capable of flying and conducting a variety of military missions in the mesosphere. The original concept revolved around a hypersonic reconnaissance aircraft project, but later was expanded into the wider concept of hypersonic multipurpose military and civilian jets, as well as a platform for launching satellites. The mesosphere is the layer of the Earth's atmosphere from 50 km to 85 km high, above the stratosphere and below the thermosphere. It is very difficult to fly in the mesosphere, the air is too rarefied for aircraft wings to generate lift, but sufficiently dense to cause aerodynamic drag on satellites. In addition, parts of the mesosphere fall inside the ionosphere, meaning the air is ionized due to solar radiation. The ability to conduct military activities in the mesosphere gives a country some significant military potential. MHD Bypass Magnetohydrodynamic Converter and the layout of IX engines. The IX was projected to employ a novel engine using a magnetohydrodynamic generator to collect and slow down highly ionized and rarefied air upstream of air breathing jet engines, usually scramjets. The air is mixed with fuel into the mixture that burns in the combustor, while the electricity produced by the inlet MHD generator feeds the MHD accelerator located behind the jet engine near the single expansion ramp nozzle to provide additional thrust and specific impulse. The plasma funnel developed over the air inlet from the Lorentz forces greatly increases the ability of the engine to collect air, increasing the effective diameter of the air inlet up to hundreds of meters. It also extends the Mach regime and altitude the aircraft can cruise to. Thus, it is thought that the IX's engine can operate using atmospheric oxygen even at heights above 35 km. A non-equilibrium MHD generator typically produces 1 to 5 MW, with such parameters of the channel cross-section, magnetic field strength, pressure, degree of ionization, and velocity of the working fluid. But the increased effective diameter of the air inlet by the virtual plasma funnel greatly increases the power produced from 45 to 100 megawatts per engine. As IAX may use two to four of such engines, some electrical energy could be diverted to peaceful or military directed energy devices. Thermochemical cycle The fuel feed system of the IAX engine is also novel. At supersonic speeds, air brutally recompresses downstream of the stagnation point of the shock wave, producing heat. At hypersonic speeds, the heat flux from shock waves and air friction on the body of an aircraft, especially at the nose and leading edges, becomes considerable as the temperature is proportional to the square of the Mach number. That is why hypersonic speeds are problematic with respect to the strength of materials and are often referred to as the heat barrier. IAX uses thermochemical reactors, the heating energy from air friction is used to increase the heat capacity of the fuel by cracking the fuel with a catalytic chemical reaction. The aircraft has double shielding, between which water and ordinary cheap kerosene circulates in hot parts of the airframe, the energy of surface heating is absorbed through heat exchangers to trigger a series of chemical reactions in presence of a nickel catalyzer, called hydrocarbon steam reforming. Kerosene and water splits into a new fuel reformate, methane 70 to 80 percent in volume, and carbon dioxide 20 to 30 percent in a first stage. Then methane and water reform in their turn in a second stage into hydrogen, a new fuel of better quality, in a strong endothermic reaction. Thus, the heating capacity of the fuel increases, and the surface of the aircraft cools down. Besides a more energetic fuel, the mixture is populated by many free radicals that enhance the degree of ionization of the plasma, further increased by the combined use of E-beams that control electron concentration, and HF pulse repetitive discharges that control electron temperature. 
Such systems create streamer discharges that irrigate the ionized flow with free electrons, increasing combustion effectiveness, a process known as plasma-assisted combustion. Such a concept was initially named magnetoplasma chemical engine and the working principle referred to as chemical heat regeneration and fuel transformation. Plasma sheath as altitude increases, the electrical resistance of air decreases, according to Paskin's law. The air at the nose of IX is ionized. Besides E-beams and HF pulse discharges, a high voltage is produced by the Hall effect in the MHD generator that allows a planar glow discharge to be emitted from the sharp nose of the aircraft and the thin leading edges of its wings by a St. Elmo's fire effect. Such a plasma cushion in front and around the aircraft is said to offer several advantages. The ionized air becomes electrically conductive, which allows the MHD generator to work and decelerate the flow down to the air-breathing jet engines. The bow shock wave is detached further ahead of the aircraft, the energy deposition in this region acting as a virtual blunted nose, although the nose stays physically very sharp. This minimizes the heat flux on materials. The temperature gradient in the air is locally modified, hence the speed of sound value, which mitigates and softens the shock wave. This lowers thermal effects on materials further, as well as the wave drag. The plasma cocoon surrounding the whole aircraft gives plasma stealth. Combined with hypersonic speeds and maneuverability, such a platform would be very difficult to detect, track, and target.